I want to talk about motion on a straight line. Imagine an object that moves with constant velocity v. At t equals 0, it's located at point 5, negative 4. And at t equals 4, it's at point negative 7, 12. It's very important that you know that if a, an object moves with constant velocity, it will move in a straight line. And that means that its movement can be modeled by the, the vector equation for a line r equals r0 plus t v. Now in this case, r0 is the initial point. When t equals 0, we get 5, negative 4. So r0 is the position vector for that point, 5, negative 4. Now we also know that when t equals 4, the position is negative 7, 12. That means we get negative 7, 12 equals r0, 5, negative 4, plus when t equals 4, 4 times the velocity, whatever that might be. Now we know it's constant, but we can use this equation to find out exactly what it is. So let me subtract this vector from both sides. And remember, when you subtract vectors, you subtract component-wise. So negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. 12 minus negative 4 is 12 plus 4, 16 equals 4v. So I just divide both sides by 4, and I get that v is negative 3, 4. That's the velocity. And that means that the, vectors, the, the vector equation for the object's position is r equals r0. Remember, r0 was 5, negative 4 plus t times the velocity vector, which was negative 3, 4. Now, it's, it's more usual to see this written xy equals 5, negative 4 plus t times negative 3, 4. This is the vector equation for the object's position, but we can express it another way. You can take the right-hand side and distribute the t over this vector, and you get xy equals 5, negative 4 plus negative 3t, 4t. And then you can add these two vectors, and you get, adding component-wise, 5 minus 3t and negative 4 plus 4t. But remember that two vectors are only equal if their components are equal. And that means we get two equations, x equals 5 minus 3t and y equals negative 4 plus 4t. These two equations also describe the position of the object, and they're called parametric equations. We'll be studying parametric equations in this lesson.